What are you doing here? I thought y'all went home. Everybody know their part on your hands. Ah. What's up everybody, it's Charlie of You Heard It Here First in my beer for tonight, both on Twitter, back at it again with another episode of What Are You Drinking and I got something from Trap Door Brewing. Now, as you all know, or you should know, or you may or may not know, Trap Door Brewing is my fourth favorite brewery in the world. Okay. Now, granted, over the last three years, I lived in the PDX, so a lot of the beer I consumed was in the PDX, and my two, or my three, or there's two locations in which I think make some of the best beer, in my opinion, all right? And that is Portland, and that's Vancouver, Washington. And in Vancouver, Washington, you have Trapdoor Brewing number four and then there's three other little small yet big breweries in portland that i really hold it down for so today we have della citra which is a single hop indian pale ale i like the can art on this and they've been doing some awesome things with their can art i really like what's going on right there um now some would say it's kind of girly but the colors work well especially summertime colors and granted it's like the second or third day of fall but hell come on man we can still get it in this beer was canned on august 6 2018 so this is going to wrap up the last of the great beer that i was able to pick up when i was in portland nearly a month ago um so here we are boom can we get a good focus in on that there we are boom that's like the, the artwork is pretty dope i like that I like that a lot. Camera's trying to pick it up as best as can, but it's really focusing on me. Probably because I'm so fucking sexy. But anyways, Della Citra. What we got in here? We got malts, we got two rolled pilsner wheat, and flaked oats. For all my folks out there that are home brewing and you understand that, you probably understand all this stuff right here. Hops all citra all the fucking time. Keep cold and drink fresh. This joint is coming in at 6.6% alcohol by volume. I haven't had anything bad from Trapdoor Brewing. And I'm not saying that because I like them, but I haven't had anything bad from Trapdoor Brewing, right? Um, now I got this in a little small glass because um, I want to do some social stuff. So we're gonna get it just a little bit and then we're gonna take the rest to, to some other platforms. Yeah. That's pouring up quite pretty. And that smells good as fuck, too. And I'm like, what? I guess you can say about 8 to 12 inches away. And that smells fucking delicious. And it is beautiful in color. Look at that. I'm talking... We got to give you guys better focus on this. Here we go. Right there. Oh, man. That's beautiful. It's real beautiful. It's really... You know, I honestly didn't expect it to look this light. But, it kind of makes sense because what I'm getting from the can, artwork, and then what I'm getting from the beer kind of all flows together. So, like I said, we'll try to give you another look on that. Can you get a good focus? There, yeah, that's good. All right. And it smells, it smells good as fuck. I mean, it kind of smells like coming out of like a little dinky maybe. I don't know. You guys know I'm a beer consumer. I'm not a beer reviewer. There's something going on with this beer that I can't really tell, but what I can tell you is this shit is going to be fire, and I haven't even had it yet. But it smells great, and the folks over at Trapdoor, they haven't done anything wrong, so kudos to them, cheers to them, and cheers to who all is watching right now. It's a different taste on the back end. It's like one of those tastes that make you want to drink more. I've had a few IPAs lately, even on a hazier side, that's kind of dried me out um, on the back end. But this is 
it's in the back of the palate that's just like drink more some like juicy salivating at the mouth so like i said they can do no wrong just like garlic brewing can do no wrong great notion can do no wrong and grixon 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 can do no wrong my spot almost fucked that up but like i said this beer it's just got me salivating in the back end of my fucking mouth. So yes, cheers again. Mm. I like that a lot. So we're gonna get that in another glass, snap some photos, share it, and all that good stuff. But uh, Trapdoor Buell Brewing is just so, I mean, I want more. I'm telling you, it's doing something to how the hell I'm supposed to be speaking right now. But another great beer by them. Juicy Faton, my fucking favorite. Thank you. That beer was delicious. I'm talking that beer was fucking delicious. So thank you, Trapdoor Brewing. Can't wait to get back to Portland again. And hopefully I can swing by and pick up some great beer. This honestly, or actually, and honestly, my homeboy Dwayne, Smallwood, owner of Bridge and Tunnel uh, Bottle Shop and Tap tap Room, not Tap House, I've been fucking that up, but Tap tap Room over in Astoria, I'm right on Dwayne Street, if I'm not mistaken, right down the street from Fort George, so if you can't go directly to the source um, and you're in Astoria, then stop by my man, my man Dwayne, he'll hook you up. Uh, but with that being said, it's Charlie, if you heard it here first. And my beer for tonight, they're both on Twitter. This is an episode of What Are You Drinking? One longer than normal, but thanks for fucking with me. Peace.